Hey guys, it's Tux here. Welcome back to another episode of Tux Talks. Today we're going to be ranking the top 5 sinks from worst to best. Now starting off at number 5, we have those push sinks. Where you have to push down on the thing in order to make the water run. But here's the problem I hate. There's three things I hate about it. The first thing is that it's in a school public restroom. Which is always the worst place to do anything really. Um, and the second thing about it is that when you push down, yeah, there's like a certain time limit because like then after a while it's going to push back up and all the water is going to stop dropping. So, so you have to like wash your hands really fast and then you're not going to have time because you're, so, you're just going to be pushing and washing your hands really fast, pushing, washing your hands really fast. And the third thing is that there's no way to change the temperature. It's always just one set temperature and you can't change it at all. So it's just at the same same temperature. It's always either cold, most of, most of the time it's cold. But yeah, I think that it's a really bad one. I'd probably rate it a 1 out of 10 or school bathroom out of 10 because it's that bad. Um. So yeah. At number 4, we have the automatic sinks. And now the thing about the automatic sinks that I really hate is that again they don't have any way to set the temperature it's just, it's just gonna be uh cold most of the time sometimes it, sometimes for some reason like the the automatic ones are actually kind of warm but the thing that really annoys me about them is that like 90 percent of the time when you when you want to wash your hands like the scanner that scans to activate the water doesn't even work so you so you just like 99 percent of the time is just you trying to wave it wave your hand to get the sensor to activate so that the water can come so you could uh so you can then wash your hands so yeah it's pretty useless uh it's better you're better off just not washing your hands even after you, you probably took a dump on your hand it's best not to do that anyway on the number three spot we have those uh normal sinks like just ordinary old sinks in the bathroom right thing i don't like about them is that like um there's no control like it's a little uncontrolled because like there's no way to set to know w what the specific like temperature is going to be or something like that like 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 you just it's kind of like a lottery like like do you pull push both the hot and the warm ones up like do you have to just push them both um to get like a nice mixture do you want like a little bit warm like it's a bit complicated so if, if you're really good at math then you could probably guess so how to do it or something for us not nerds it's gonna be pretty tricky going around but over overall it's a pretty pretty solid sink so yeah i probably rated a like a seven out of ten and the last one i forgot i rated a four out of ten um so on second place we have the um we have the shower sinks it's not really a sink it's more of a faucet i guess but that, that's secondly what we're we're just ranking faucets let's be honest it's just called ranking sinks because no one says faucet ever um but anyway yeah the thing about the thing i really like is that like the, that's a problem that we had with the earlier one is that like w when you would like move the thing up like it wouldn't like 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 you wouldn't really know what the how hot it was gonna be well with the shower ones you could just move move the dial thing up and then like you know how how warm it's gonna be like it's gonna be oh it's like this and then it's like, like, no, now, now it's warm. Now it's, like, really hot. Oh, now it's not. So, yeah. And at the number one spot... Oh, yeah, I need to rank the, the shower one. The shower one's gonna get a 9 out of 10. And the next one's gonna get a 10 out of 10 because of how state-of-the-art and cool it is. So, problem with the last two and, uh... Not, it doesn't really apply to the other ones, but... The problem with the last two is that, um... When you turn them on, like like sometimes like certain certain temperatures, because like you know you have to you have to turn it on, but it's like at certain temperatures, like if it's like like very slightly activated, it's usually at like the really cold temperature, but it's like barely dripping. So like like you have no way of controlling that, or maybe let, let's just say like you want to have like a like warm water coming out, but you want it to be like very little warm water. Nope, you just have to like, it has to be like all the way up in order for the warm water to all come down. And that's a problem, right? Because because what if you don't want that? Like, so that's that's exactly what this type of sink fix is. Um, so basically, all I have to do is you have to pull the lever, right, to turn it on and off. And then you just have to set it, move it up and down to like set the temperature. And the reason this works so well is because not only can you set how much water is coming out, but you can also set the temperature. Unlike the other ones, which you can't really do that. And like the like the the bottom two, you can't even set the temperature. Uh, so yeah, and not only is it like not only is it really easy to use but it also has like a really nice mechanism like the uh, 
it's just smooth okay it works it works really well and usually kitchen sinks use it my kitchen sink uses it and i think it's a really solid great sink 11 out of 11 i don't know why i changed it to 11 i just did anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you disagree with my opinion you're trash